trifle equals Christmas to me. I love trifle. There are so many different varieties out there using canned fruit, using all different tropical fruits, but I'm gonna show you a very simple one, the one that I think tastes the best, a raspberry trifle. Now you're going to need lots of fresh berries for this. It really does make a difference to the end result. And I've cut it back. I'm not adding too many things. I'm just adding the key things, which is loads of raspberries, custard cream, and of course, cake. You can get store-bought cake for this. I give you permission. In fact, I think it tastes even better. So let's start with warming up some cream and some milk. This is going to be for our custard base. So some thickened cream. We want about 100 mils of cream. To that, I'll add some milk, 500 mils of milk, and one vanilla bean. I think homemade custard with fresh vanilla bean in it is just so important. So I'm just using my hands just to warm up the vanilla bean. This just helps get out all those little seeds. I'll grab a small knife, cut through the center, and then we're gonna scrape out the seeds, just like that. And on the other side, scrape the seeds. Fantastic. Now don't waste the bean, there's still so much flavour in here, so that also goes into the milk along with all those seeds. I'm making this custard now because I want it to be chilled, so this can go into the fridge. In fact, if you're doing this for a party or for Christmas, you can make this up to three days ahead of time, so be really organised. All right, while that's heating up, let's get onto the jelly. So I've got 250 mils of boiling water, store-bought jelly, raspberry jelly for this. I'll grab a little whisk and we'll just add that I don't have that much jelly here and that's how I like it because essentially I want this jelly to be the glue for all the fresh berries. To assemble this, we're going to need a trifle bowl. This one's a four litre capacity bowl. This is going to feed a lot of people. And for our fresh raspberries, look how fat and plump they are. There's nothing better than a fresh raspberry. So in they go. I'm going to need about four to five punnets. You can change this up and use some fresh strawberries or if you like, you can use a mixture of fresh berries. So in they go. Look at them, they look like little jewels in there. I really want the berries to cover the entire base of the trifle bowl. Okay. And just give that a jiggle and spread them out. Now for the jelly, I'm just going to pour that jelly over the raspberries. And as you can see, it really is just going to stick them all together. Now we can't put another layer on this because it's still quite liquidy, so we need that jelly to set. It's only a thin amount of jelly, so it's only going to take a few hours to set, so into the fridge. Right, this cream and milk mixture is boiling. It smells so good with that vanilla. So to finish off the custard, six egg yolks. To that, I'm going to add some corn flour and sugar. What I like to do is just add a little tablespoon of the sugar into the corn flour and give that a mix. You could use custard powder if you want, but I just like to keep it very traditional. Then we can add that to our egg yolks. So that's the first stage. We'll mix that in. Dissolve all of that corn flour into the eggs and then in with the rest of the sugar. Now you don't have to beat this until it's thick and pale. Just give it a really good mix until most of that sugar has dissolved in. So you can hear that it sounds grainy right now. If you keep mixing it, you'll see in about 10 seconds it's dissolved through. Perfect. Okay, once that's boiled, turn it off and we're just going to whisk and pour at the same time. I like to whisk and pour at the same time so we don't get scrambled eggs. So you want to work fast. If you've got a second person in the kitchen, by all means, do this as a team much faster. Perfect. Okay, this now needs to thicken so our pot goes back on the stove top. I'm going to pour this custard mixture with the vanilla bean back into the pot. All those little speckles of vanilla, don't waste them, get them in there. Grab a wooden spoon. So you want all those little bubbles to dissipate and you're left with this thick custard. That then goes into a bowl, 
cover it with cling film and then into the fridge to cool completely. All right, the jelly has set. You can see all those little raspberries. They're stuck in there like glue. So that's the first layer. The second layer is our jam sponge. Now, you can make it yourself, but I think the store-bought one will evoke so many memories of trifles when I was a kid and how we used to have them then. So that's why I like to bring this one in. It also saves so much time. So we're gonna cut it into about two to three centimetre rounds because that's the next layer. So keep slicing. And you can see the store-bought one, it really does hold its shape nicely. Okay, so next we're going to start around the sides. So we really wanna show it off around the sides. So what I like to do is just press it in and down to show that little swirly effect that's on there. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want it to roughly hold its shape until we get to the center. And when we get to the center, we will also cover all of those raspberries. So just around, and that last one, just break that up. And the rest of the rounds, we're just going to press down on top of the raspberries. So you should have enough with one. Yep, absolutely perfect for a four litre capacity trifle tin. Press down on that. I'm using Cointreau. You could use some brandy, any liqueur you like, or you can completely leave it out. This is just going to soak in to our lovely sponge here, giving it a bit of a festive feel. Okay, now we can add a pool of homemade custard. I did say you can use store-bought sponge, but when it comes to the custard, you've got to make it yourself because it just tastes so much better. So we'll take that little cling film off. I'll remove the vanilla bean. It's done its job. It's really flavoured and perfumed, this custard. And it's as simple as pouring that all over our sponge. Wow, just drenching it and letting it sort of fall into all those nooks and crannies. And a trifle is never complete without cream. So I've just made some Chantilly cream, which is just a fancy French word for whipped cream with icing sugar and more vanilla bean. And I want this to look kind of rustic, so I'm just making little mounds of that fluffy cream and just piling it into the center. Okay. Now it is a raspberry trifle, so more raspberries, two more punnets of fresh, plump raspberries, and we just top that trifle with loads. In fact, just go wild with the raspberries on this. Really pile them up. And a little icing sugar, just dust it over those berries. And there you have it. Christmas trifle with a bit of a raspberry feel, homemade custard. I love any type of trifle, but this one that really shows off raspberries and is not overworked, there's not too many ingredients, this one is just an absolute stunner.